Yeah, uh, I want to bless you with a little message, and I pray that this message we have impact in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. As you hear this message, may your life never remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes it's good to always study your Bible and read your Bible every time, you know, because this particular verse I'm used to bless you today. I read, I read it several times over and over. So, but this faithful day, and I see these words in a different dynamic way, you know. So that's the reason why I choose to bless you with this message. You know, it's a popular verse which many pastors is a common place in the Bible. Where we are Jesus Christ in John fourteen, John forty two. Jesus said, do not let your heart be troubled. Underline that word. Do not let your heart be troubled. In my father's house are many mansions. Underline that word again. Do not let your heart be troubled. Now, the reason why Jesus said, do not let your heart be troubled, because he knew that sometimes you will be troubled in your heart. He knew that sometimes your heart will be troubled. He knew that there are some calamity, you will have a restless mind. Because when the heart is troubled, the man is dead. When the heart is troubled, the man lose focus. The next thing is frustration. When the heart is troubled, the next thing is grief. When the heart is troubled, you confuse. You can't when the heart is troubled that's what's caused heart attack stroke because the heart is troubled and that's the reason why jesus christ said do not let your heart be troubled because he knew he knew that sometimes there may be a calamity that will make your heart to be troubled that's the reason why he said do not let your heart be troubled you know i don't know i've been passing this place several and several but i thank god a few days ago and God give me different rhema. He, he, he opened my eyes to see this world in a different way. You know, do not let your heart be troubled because he knew. He knew the calamity. He knew that sometimes in your journey, your heart will be troubled. He knows. That's the reason why he said, do not let your heart be troubled. In my father's house, he did not end there. In my father has are many mansions. Le mazo le maya. In my father house are many mansions. You know, you know, Jesus Christ and God same almost the same thing. In, in Psalm 50, verse 15, God said almost the same thing. He said, Call me the day of trouble. I will deliver you. Because God knew that there must be trouble. That's the reason why God said, call me the day of trouble. He did not say, there must, there must not be trouble. There must be trouble. That's the reason why God said, call me the day of trouble. And I will deliver you. Because he knew that there must be trouble. Those things must happen. But the truth, what I'm trying to let you know now today, I'm working on this word that Jesus Christ gave to us. He taught us. We should not let our hearts be troubled. I don't know what is really making your heart to trouble. That's why I said it did not end. It's in my father's house are many mansions. Okay, let me go deep, deep and explain in my father's house are many mansions. You know, Bible, we always use one word as example. You understand? But that one's one word, it means a lot of things. So when Jesus Christ said, In my Father's house are many mansions, He's not talking about this physical mansion we see. He's talking about the calamity, what you lose. That's the mansion that Jesus Christ is explaining to us. You just lose your relationship and He's giving you trouble. But don't worry, in my Father's house there are many mansions. Or your wife betrayed you. And I want to let you know something. In my father's house, there are many faithful women who is looking for a faithful man like you. 
or your husband betrayed you. And Jesus Christ is telling you, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't worry yourself over those issues. In my father's house are many men, faithful men like you, looking for a faithful woman. I don't know. I don't know that thing that is troubling your heart. You lost your business. Don't be troubled. In my father's house are many business, many mansions. I don't know. You just, you, I, I, don't, I don't know what you lost. You lost your job. But and you began to think, how will I pay the bills like this, this? But Jesus Christ is telling you that do not let your heart be troubled. In my father's house are many jobs. He will give you. Do not don't let anything trouble your heart. Because in my father's house are many mansions. Anything you lost, anything you lose, I want to let you know something, beloved. In my father's house are many mansions. That's what Jesus Christ tell you. That's what Jesus Christ is telling us. We should relax our mind. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't worry yourself over issues too much. Because Jesus Christ already taught us that in my father's house, in our father's house, there are many mansions. If you read that, say, if I go, I will go and prepare a place for you. And Jesus Christ is telling this word when he was about to die. When he was, they is telling all that he is going there to prepare a place for us. And if I go and prepare, I will come back and take you along with me. You know, he is going to prepare a, and he's already there already. Now he is dead and he's there. So he already prepared a place for us. So whenever anything you are losing or you are me, all you just need to do is to ask. Ask and patient. You know, because one of the majority problem we believers have today is that we don't have patience. Impatience is worrying us. When you ask, you don't say today, ah, no, it's like the Lord is not with you. No, that's not. Do not let your heart, don't let your heart be troubled about anything. You know, this is a little message I have for you today. And stay blessed with this message. And I pray that God will come into your life. I pray that Jesus Christ will visit you as you listen to this message and you will learn how to relax your mind. Don't be, there are a lot of people who are not evil doers. On a very good day, I will teach on the evil doers and the sinners because a lot of pastors and believers doesn't, they doesn't, they can't differentiate the, the evil doers and the sinners. I'm not saying it's good to sin or to be evil doer, but I'm going to differentiate them to you. You know, so but my message today, relax your mind. Thank God, don't look over what you lose during this pandemic, this coronavirus, and you lose a lot of things, no job, and you began to think, you began to worry yourself. No, everything you lose, Jesus Christ is telling you that in my father's house are many mansions. You are into a relationship and you'll be betrayed. Don't worry. There are many faithful ones over there. In my father's house are many mansions. Stay blessed with this message and God bless you. So if you love the message, share to bless others. I remain your brother, your friend, Destiny EE Production. One love.